Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can disable the ESLint. I personally don't like it because for even a small thing like if I give a extra space here, it is going to give me a warning here that you should not give a space. So I cannot get rid of the space even. Like in HTML, it is when you view your web page and uh, web, if you have extra space, it is going to ignore that. This should be the same way. If you have extra space, it is going to give you a warning. This is so bad. That's why I will show you how you can ignore the ESLint when we, we create our application. So for now, I will do nothing. If you go to the GitHub repo, here is also an issue. They have this how to turn off the ESLint. There are different answer to this one. They say for our application, you know, we have created using the view CLI. So the good answer was here. If I scroll all the way down, they say that you should create a file here. Yeah, this guy, they say that you should create the ESLint ignore file and then you can put this one this code or this code inside that one it will ignore all the javascript and vue.js file so if i create such a file let's say i copy this one i come here just pick one of them so that you can create from uh, the current directory i will write i will create the new file put dot here and then you give the name here eslint.ignore if i press enter it just create the file for me if for you it is not creating the file make sure you uh, save us this one first just save us this one because for the first time it didn't work for me i did save us and i removed the javascript file and then i renamed this one to the one we, we want like yes ignore file if it does not work like this just try that one so that's why for me it didn't work because of the file name it was different inside the uh, the ignore file what you can do is you can come all the way down here. Yeah, this is what you are going to paste. So I will show you how it is going to ignore all this directory, the build directory, the config directory, this, JS, everything like that. And it's start for the last one. It is going to ignore everything. So I will save it. This time if I come to my application, no need to remove any extra space. You don't see any warning. You are good to go with your own install of JavaScript. This is a lot better, I think. So I hope it has been informative for you. If you have any question, do not ask below the video and the reason is the guys you are asking like the question you see an error and you just directly paste it in the comment of the video it is not how it works i just want to show you how you can search around online so that you can solve your problem if you see any any issue if you get any error try to solve it by yourself if not then you can ask the question the reason is like i don't see the the code that you have written the videos I am recording, all of them are practical. I'm not editing any part of the video. That's why uh, if I see any error, I try to show you what is the error and how you can solve this one. But if it is happening for you because of a semicolon or because of uh, a small issue, I cannot uh, like read what are you doing with your code. That's why I want you to just learn how to solve your problem using Google because your problem sometimes is completely different than the one I see. So if you can learn how you can Google it, how you can solve it like that, it will be a lot better for you in future. Uh, like if you see any strange uh, error in the future, you can easily Google it and you know where you can look and how you can find the solution. So I hope it has been informative for you. Again, feel free to share your comments below the video. And thank you for watching and thank you for your positive messages. Thank you so much.